kind of decided that the best way to become a director was to do um, the most, to undertake the most ridiculous project that you could imagine. And for me, that at that point, three years ago, was picking a Russian play with 14 actors in the cast and with a budget entirely out of my own pocket of several hundred dollars rehearsing in stolen rehearsal spaces. We literally got kicked out of one of them. Um, 14 actors in this enormous three hour piece of Gorky and putting it on the rehearsal room. And the first time that all the actors were together in the same room was in front of our first audience. I think that I didn't feel like it was worth doing unless it was going to be very difficult. Unless it was sort of somewhat overwhelming. It seems to have been the kind of one consistent thing to the shows that I've done. Is that, that, that uh, I've often not really been ready to do them. So this is, this is um, the rehearsal set for Baby Teeth in one of many configurations. There's little bits and pieces of set around here from scenes that we were looking at this morning. These cardboard boxes are actually a fridge and a stove. So we're, this is week two and we're just very slowly, very slowly actually, um, putting in place the kind of set of physical reality. Last week we spent the whole week around that table, just looking at the script, and we're moving backwards and forwards. And we spent most of the morning inside that doorway trying to kind of like um, um, look at this first meeting between two characters and work out both how it, what's happening in the scene, but also kind of, you know, which way around this set's going to end up going eventually. The week after next, we'll actually get the revolt in here, and then we'll begin to kind of see what happens when you string things together, and that will be a whole other world, you know. Opening night, um, usually it's unspeakably terrifying. And you know what? I don't think it goes away. I don't think it gets any easier. At interval on opening night of Midsummer's, I said to Neil, does it get any easier? And he said, I should hope not. But don't think it does. <laughs> and I'm still missing an actor. And it's halfway through the second week. We have to find. <laughs> Rita reply, wrote a play with a 14-year-old girl, t two parents. Um, a Latvian violinist, a junkie, and then to top it all off, as if th that's not hard enough to cast, a nine-year-old Vietnamese violin prodigy who plays live on stage. And that's what theatre does. It makes those kind of like um, strange, mysterious movements in yourself and in the world that kind of keep unsettling you or, or, um, or stunning you. Or, or kind of making you feel thrilled with the world. It kind of makes them really concrete. And I, and I really enjoy that part of it.